Hey everyone, I'm back again with another tutorial video and today we're looking at the Microsoft Surface Mouse and we recommend it alongside the Slim Folio Pro keyboard case from Logitech, which is the regular keyboard case without a trackpad. If you haven't set up your keyboard case yet, you can click here to watch that tutorial or alternatively I've put the link in the description below if you're watching this on your mobile and you don't see the pop-up. When you receive your mouse it should already have batteries installed, but if it doesn't it just takes regular AAA batteries. To access the battery compartment, press down at the bottom of this cover here and it'll pop up at the top. Pull the cover off and insert your batteries and then pop the cover back on. It'll snap into place magnetically. The mouse can be turned on or off by pressing this small button on the back. You'll know when it's on because a faint blue light will be emitted from the sensor. Now if it's the first time you've used the mouse with your iPad, you'll need to put it into what's called pairing mode. Press and hold the button until it starts blinking bright blue. But don't look into the light because it's very bright once it starts flashing. Open settings and go to Bluetooth and tap on Surface Mobile Mouse at the bottom here. Tap pair and the mouse will now be connected. The mouse has a scroll wheel which you can use to scroll around web pages or documents and emails and it has left and right click buttons which work just the same as they would on a computer. Right click to open up menus such as opening a link in a new tab and if you want to go to the home screen move the mouse pointer to the bottom of the screen and click. To open the app switcher, click at the bottom of the screen and hold, then drag up to the middle of the screen and release, just like you would when using your finger to access the app switcher. If you want to adjust the mouse speed, open settings and scroll down to general, then choose trackpad and mouse. Adjust this slider at the top and give the mouse a wiggle to see if you're happy with the new speed. When you're done with the mouse, just press the button on the bottom to switch it off so it doesn't drain the battery when it's not in use. 